you know, first of all, it was just a, just a tough start for us tonight. Uh, we didn't get out to a very good start. We uh, um, They scored right there, and then they had another turnover, had the short field, and, you know, they got out and they got some momentum early. And, you know, you got to start fast in a big game. Um, it was tough for us to overcome, but, you know, I really didn't – that energy wasn't there in the first half. Uh, second half, we came out, uh, played a little bit more inspiring football, and we moved it down the field. We got some stops, and, you know, we looked like a football team, but – we had too big a hole to overcome, and that's the result. And the score indicated 50 to 21, and you know we just didn't play very good in all phases. Coach, why do you feel like you guys came out flat with no energy? Well, you know it's just been a long stretch. For you know we got a lot of guys out, and we added to that again today. So you know it's just tough to get that chemistry at practice, and you know when you're missing some key players, it, it just makes it tough. You know we lost. Uh, um, all three safeties, you know, so we down to to the bare minimum in our secondary, but, you know, it was tough to get some excitement going. And we knew it was going to be a tough challenge. They're a real good football team. We take our hat off to them, but uh, we just didn't come out in the big game and, and get that start that we look forward to. Even with all those injuries and everything that was going against you guys, with everything that was at stake tonight, were you surprised with how flat they came out? No, I wasn't surprised. It was just, I, I don't think we came out flat. I think the situations in the game created that. You know, once they got the momentum, that early, fast start, it took our guys a little while. It's like you got hit, and then by the time you realize it, you know, you're already down 28 nothing. So, you know, but I just think, you know, we got to do a better job of responding in that. You know, we'll get better. You talked about the offense. Their offense always able to put up points through the air, and it seemed like you guys just had a – what was it for you as a defense coach? Why was it so hard for the, for the defense to, to get stopped in? Well, you know, number 10 is a, is a very good football player, and the quarterback do a decent job of throwing the football. But I knew it was going to be difficult uh, based on the, uh, the injuries and who, who we had out there that was uh, a little banged up. So we knew it was going to be a tough order. But, you know, once again, I take my hat off to them. And, you know, our guys got to go out, and they got to compete, and they got to play. And I, I commend them on coming out in the second half and doing that. What was Levi Jackson? Oh, Levi was out. You know, he's another guy we lost this week. Uh, uh, his arm was swole up on him. I think he had an infection in it, and, you know, they pulled him off the field. So um, he wasn't able to go. And, you know, that's that's tough because that's that senior leadership back there that, that you know, he make a couple of those plays. But, you know, I hope he's at home uh, getting better, and we look forward to getting him back next week. Do you think he'll be able to come back next week? Do you have any I, I have no idea. Coach, Coach offensively, did you guys just have a, uh, the problem with the offense, I guess? I know you saw a lot of drop passes and – just unable to consistently get it up the field? Well, you know, we moved the ball. I mean, the first drive, we driving the football, you know, and we get down there across the 50, and, you know, we, we, we spun it. You know, that's just a part of it. Next drive, you know, we get it down there again, and then 25, you know, picks us off for a pick six. And, you know, that, that sort of set the momentum in their favor. I and mean, we just didn't respond the way that I would like for them to respond. But, you know, they did a good job defensively stopping what we do best. You know, they took some of our better players out of the game, and, and they got out to a good start. Coach, uh, you mentioned coming out flat. Uh, in the third quarter, the guys late in the third quarter after the Barry score, we get a turnover, we're able to bottle up a little momentum, and, uh, you know, we're able to uh, we end up getting stopped at the inside the five-yard line. How do you bottle that momentum going forward to try to continue that throughout a football game going forward? Well, you know, it's just, I mean, you need stuff to happen. You know, you need stuff to happen in the game to create some excitement for your team. It's hard to go out there and be enthusiastic when you're not having any positive plays. So, you know, but as a, as a team, you got to sort of weather that storm. You know, you got to get on those ropes, but you can't get knocked out. So, you know, but I think we, we held together. It just happened to be uh, 41 to, to 6 before we could really get to halftime and, and gather our wits and regroup. How do you regroup? What's the message for this team heading into next week against Prairie U? Well, it's, it's the same thing we've been doing all year. We tell them, you know, you got 24 hours, and we'll put this one behind us. You know, we don't get too high when we win. We don't get too low when we lose. We we understand we missed a golden opportunity to do something special, but, you know, this wasn't our last football game. We'll come back to work on Monday and see if we can't get a little bit better. What's the plan for Justin Morgan? Uh, I know he was on kickoff return. even saw him at defensive back for a play. So what are you going to use him at? Well, that, when you see him at defensive back, it's, it, it lets you know how thin we are. You know, when we got to take our third quarterback and, and put him on uh, the defensive backfield. So, 
you know, with limited reps, you know, but he goes out and he compete, you know. I don't know what the future holds for him, you know. Uh, it's just a matter of we trying to get some guys on the field that, you know, we played every defensive back that we had, you know, and we needed him to go out and play a little bit for us, but who knows what he's going to be playing in the future. Coach, it was also unfortunate once again that the team wasn't able to clinch first place, but just what did they play for um, after, this, after, after tonight? Well, you play for the same thing, you know, you're trying to get, you trying to win. You know, I think these guys are getting motivated and, you know, it's a, it's a, it'd be a tough challenge, but, you know, they've done a good job in coming back and coming back to work and trying to get better. And, and we're going to do that, you know, we're going to do all we can to get the football team ready to go play the next one. And with Prairie View next week in Street for both teams tied in the conference, what's that stake for that game? What high challenging that would that be? Well, it's another football game that, you know, you got to be able to stop people and you got to be able to score. You know, that's what it boils down to. And if we do those things, we're going to be all right. You know, we just didn't do it well in the first half. You know, second half, we, we outplayed them in the second half. But it's just that we got off to such a bad start, the game was, uh, it was a tough uh, mountain to climb. From game one, you've had basically a patchwork offensive line. A couple of guys go down today. How do you kind of see that coming together going forward? Do you, you know, foresee even some more defensive linemen being convert, uh, converged over to the offensive line later on in the season? Well, you know, we don't really have anybody to convert. You know, it's just what we're going through is a nine-game stretch, and you're seeing the, you're going to see the effects of it. You know, it's, it's tough when you when you playing. Of nine games in a row against the kind of caliber football teams that we have at the tail end of our, of our schedule. You know, we're playing against uh, all the teams that, that are left other than a couple are in the hunt. So you're going to get everybody shot. Nobody, you know, everybody want to win and go play in Birmingham. So we understand that. We had that same opportunity and, you know, it's unfamiliar territory for these guys. I just, I just wish we'd gone to a better start. Were you hoping after the crowd you guys had last week you'd have maybe a little bit more this week and so it ends up being around half the size that it was? Well, you know, like I tell the guys, we can't control that. We're just trying to control what we do on the football field. You know, we try to, whoever show up, you know, we appreciate their support. But in the end, we got to go out and play a football game. We don't look up and see how many fans are here, you know. Our job is to go out and perform. Any more questions for Coach?